is Paul Lim. I am a rock climber. I climb a lot at the Timonium Road Tricks. Um, my weakest area in climbing right now is probably endurance. So I want to try to stay on the walls for as long as I can. I try to climb five times a week for at least two to three hours each session. Um, and then after the climbing sessions, I would incorporate a one hour lifting session. And for cardio, I try to run one mile to two miles every single day. I was pretty good at campusing, but my finger strength has um, decreased a lot. So I gotta work on my finger strength and my um, pull-ups more. So instead of climbing more sequences and routes, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing more campuses and pull-ups instead because I can climb the routes. It's not gonna help me on my strength, my physical strength. So um, working on my campuses and uh, finger strength training will definitely help. I will be spending more time in the training room at Earthrex than than the actual boulders. Those will probably just be for like warm-ups and stuff, so. Climbing goal for right now is to be able to do a V10, um, and for a top for my top rope climbing goal is to be able to lead a 12D or higher. My my highest I've ever led and top rope was a 12C. So. Next, my next level should be 12D or 13A. I've only bouldered a couple V9s so far, but I really want to hit, start hitting the um, V10s and V11s. You just, and you just go in one session and just keep working on it, keep working on each single problem, each single move. Like you, Your body just adapts to each single move, so you have to focus and focus on that one round. You can't keep switching um, between each round because it's, it's not going to work like that. Your body needs to know how it's going to move so that your mind knows what to do. Everything has to be perfect within every single move. One of my bigger climbing goals is actually to um, climb Dreamcatcher. I think it is a 514D outdoor lead, so that's actually one of my climbing goals for outdoors, but for indoor, I really want to go competitive and see how far I can get with the competitive climbing and the bouldering. I actually got to climb with a professional uh, female rock climber, Kim Chain. She's one of the top. Um, she's one of the top Korean female athletes and a professional rock climber. So I got to go visit her gym um, somewhere in Gangnam. So her her family owned gym is located in Gangnam. So I got to go visit there and climb with her and watch her train. And she gave us some boulders to try out. It was very fun um, climbing with her and watching her train for her World Cup. So. Ever since I met Kim Jae-in, it definitely changed my um, climbing style because she climbs very smooth, very controlled, very fluid. So it just surprises me because she's only five feet tall. So imagine like she can do these big moves dynamically, but she does them so statically and so well. So that's how I want to climb as well. So that's, I've been trying to push towards that style of climbing more ever since I met her. So. American Ninja Warrior. I am gonna try for the show if if I get if I get in from from my application. So so hoping 
fingers crossed. So <laughs> I gotta start training a lot and lose some weight. <laughs> if I don't get in this year, I will definitely apply next year and be more prepared for, um, just be prepared mentally and like being, um, just standing more out there, being, um, getting my personality out there, so. Get my signatures now. <laughs> and if I'm not famous, you'll have just, you'll just have some scrap paper <laughs> with my name on it, which is still pretty awesome. <laughs>